and, and and we're we're just getting the checks now. So we're gonna we're gonna chat until we make sure we have all your money. That's the most important thing that's gonna happen here. Bring the house lights up. That was terrific. Uh, we're with Je Jeff Richards, uh, comedian and impressionist. And uh, uh, for, first of all, uh, uh, so that you get. We start with everyone. Is uh, where'd you grow up? How'd you grow up? Uh, I grew San Francisco, up, right? I grew up uh, in uh, San Francisco area, Walnut Creek. Yeah. You know it. Wait a minute. There? Oh, okay. At least that's the lady who likes uh, who, who liked your Bush impression. It was this side of the room. Then. Oh, right there. Yeah. Got offended. <laughs> yes. And. Uh, uh, do you have uh, the typical family, mom, dad, couple of brothers and sisters kind of thing? Uh, Just, no, I was an only child. And uh, what'd your dad do? Uh, phone, worked on the phone company. And your mom? Stay at home mom. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, and uh, then you, uh, uh, so growing up in San Francisco, now, did you grow up, uh, we say, I don't, I'm not familiar with uh, Walnut. Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek. Now, is, is that an outer uh, suburb of uh, San Francisco, or is it more inside the, the... The East Bay. East Bay. I don't really know, to be honest with you. <laughs> Everyone always asks me this, and I'm like, <laughs> ever since I was like 10, I'm stumped. But it's somewhere in the area of the, near uh, the, by the... Whatever. <laughs> How far to the Golden Gate it's, Bridge? That's I, all we know. I think I could always say it was like 20 minutes east of something. I don't know. All right. And uh, sorry, I'm an idiot. And uh, growing up, yeah. Uh, you uh, uh, did, did you go to college? Yeah. Yes. Where? Uh, North Carolina Chapel Hill. Oh, a Tar Heel. I love Chapel Hill. And uh, I was told. Uh, I was told. See I used to. Color? I used to spend time in, in Chapel Hill. Uh, great times in Chapel Hill, and there was a uh, there was a statue in the middle of the campus. I remember of uh, some Confederate soldier on a horse with a bugle, and somebody told me that every time a virgin passes that statue, the bugle sounds. I don't know. My bugle sounded down. <laughs> Thus, there are no virgins on Chapel Hill. That's right. That's it. Um, and so, how did you end up uh, going to uh, Chapel Hill from uh, San Francisco? How did that happen? Well, I wanted to go to UCLA, but I didn't get in. And uh, <laughs> but Chapel Hill broke my heart to get not in. to get in there. But um, uh, you know, Chapel Hill was in a good uh, communication school. I, I kind of wanted to be like a uh, you know a, an anchor. Or that's kind of like you know I was a big David Letterman fan, so anything in broadcasting I wanted to kind of do. Okay. Okay. So that was that was your. Uh, but I love stand up. I knew stand up was in my head. You know, I just did had no idea that I could do it or, you know, now, that age. Uh, and and what year were you? Uh, I still don't know how I could do it. I know. And what year you, were you at Chapel Hill? Uh, ninety eight, ninety seven, to ninety eight. Okay. So during that during that time period, stand up comedy was very well rooted into our society. It was it was a viable option, uh, as as far as something to do, but. You mentioned to me earlier that as a kid growing up, you kind of knew that you that you had a knack for impressions. Yeah. I mean, how how young were you when that kind of? Uh, came? yeah, three. I would, three. Yeah, I think like three. They had recordings of me uh, who, making what? fun of my uncle. You know. So you're. You're doing an impression on your uncle at three? And I literally, it's, it's, it's as bad as me going, Oh, my name's Bob. Oh, I'm Bob. Something like that. The impression's gotten a lot better over time, but... So as you were growing up, uh, uh, through school, uh, did you did you do uh, did you do impressions of uh, famous people or just your friends, teachers? You started out with teachers, yeah. Teachers, teachers, and friends. Do you That's, remember one of your teachers that was particularly uh, yeah entertaining? Uh, Doctor S uh, Mr. Sang. I don't remember if I can do it, but something like uh, Okay, Klaus. <laughs> Take a look at the board. <laughs> he was going to be like the slowest game show host if he was a game show host. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and that's what I would do. I would make fun of these guys on my lunch break with, with the kids in the school and gain acceptance. And 
Now, uh, when you were in high school, by doing that, did you ever uh, uh, did you get into plays and stuff like that in high school or no? No, I played sports. Yeah, What'd football, you play? football and baseball. Oh, great! Uh, and uh, in college, did you play sports also? No, 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 no. Me neither. No, I just uh, once I did, uh, I went to got to go to study abroad in, in uh, Florence, Italy, to try to learn how to do the language of Italian. Boy, that sounded dumb. <laughs> So you went from Chapel Hill there? Barely got on the plane. Or are you out of high school you went there or, or out of, uh, while you were in college? No, I was in college. They go, you got a foreign language requirement because you didn't go to a California, you're not in a California school. You got to do three, lang three uh, semesters. I go, what? And they go, not Spanish. And I went, oh, which I didn't even really know. <laughs> but uh, so I said, oh, I'll just go over there and do it. So that's So you spent how much did. time in Florence? Uh, it was about eight months. Wow! I just got back from Florence, uh, and uh, now you were how old then? I was twenty-one. Twenty-one in Florence, where you can drink, you can carry a bottle of Jack Daniels right down the middle of the street if you want to. Pretty much. And do impressions of anyone you want to that's walking down the street, and they'll think it's entertaining. That was what was. That's really what made me want to be on SNL. Was that was being over there because we didn't have television, you couldn't really see American movies. With English, you know, with hearing in English, so everything I remembered soaking up back then, uh, of, of you know, famous, I would be doing all those impressions. That's when I did a lot of the celebrity ones while you were in Italy. Yeah, for all the students and stuff. And, and now, there were these. Were any of these students Italian students at this new no. American? All, 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 all American. Basically. So they, so, so they were so starved for <laughs> something. Oh, they were a great audience. Yeah, what? Nothing. Right, nothing there. Plus, everyone was smoking hash. I mean, it was like... So you would just do entire movies for them? Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> well, I remember Nicolas Cage was really famous then, and uh, he's still famous, but I mean, back yeah, then yeah, he, was had it, he was really apexing, and I just kept doing the same thing over. I would just go... I would do... My, I go, this is... I go, this is Nicolas Cage is Gandhi. And I go... <sighs> I am so... Fucking hungry right now. <laughs> you have no idea. Share, share with an H. Share with an H. <laughs> this Gandhi hit picking up on a woman is very unlikely. Maybe I should bring that back to this. Gosh. Oh. Because so, I, I don't think you're, you're going to, to me, just in the short time I was there, you couldn't find a more creative uh, area than Florence. Yeah. Uh, 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 did you ever, uh, did you ever, because there's a lot of street performers there, right? Did you ever go out on the streets and just try to, you know, I'm Michelangelo today or, you know, something crazy along that line? I was, to get, be honest with you, I was too high. I, uh... <laughs> I was really high the whole time, and uh, exactly I don't really you... advise it either. But what, it's what exactly were you smoking? Hash the whole time. And I never smoked hash before, but then it's like all you could get over there was hash. And I really never smoked that much pot up at that point. But but all the guys I was with were smoking hash, and it was fun. But it's like it is kind of like heroin. Like like uh, it really just drains you. So that's that. <laughs> So you just kind of stayed in a room and entertained. Well, we would go out. We, we made fake Eurail passes. What? We made fake ones. We photocopied, color photocopied these Euro passes. My Finn would perforate it by just doing the, like, you know, with the needle. And we would just, we all over Italy and other countries, we just... Just go. Totally scammed them. That's a <laughs> And we were high. It was, it's a pretty amazing it's a great time. Style. You're not recording this, are you? Of course. No, 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 no. No, no. This is just for the audience. Too. Okay. So we're just chatting. We're just chatting. There is one guy in China going, what the fuck? <laughs> um, and uh, it's the same guy every week, though. He's starting to figure it out. Um, so uh, uh, that's the only person that's watching. It's the only one guy. The only guy in China. It's the only guy that gets the feed. <laughs> that's right. That's it. It's just him. Uh, so you're pretty safe. Oh, I didn't do Dr. Phil. That's right. I forgot. You didn't do Dr. Phil? And you didn't do Charlie Rose. Did I know you do both of those? You want to see Charlie Rose? They like Dr. Phil more than Charlie Rose. And see, I like Charlie Rose more than Dr. Phil. Well, we'll have to just do both of them. Yeah. Do Dr. Phil doing Charlie Rose. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
I'm going to do my Charlie Rose impression. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. You think she looks like you? you are you a lesbian? <laughs> if you want to change your life, you got to make changes uh, uh, in, in your life. <laughs> Something I like to call life changes. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> Quit staring at my mustache. <laughs> I have another head in the back of this head as a spare head. <laughs> you want to see my Charlie Rose impression? <laughs> Here it is. Talk about what you do. I mean, give me a sense of what you do. I mean, this is what. You talk about Enron. You talk about... Coca-Cola. You talk about boats, baseball, baseball boats. Give me a sense of what this is. What? <laughs> Clap honestly if you know who Charlie Rose is. <laughs> you got Wow. Aren't even Only six people know who Charlie Rose is? I mean, so talk believable. about what? Wow, wow. As it just goes to show how famous you can be in this day and time and still nobody know who you are. A good section of the audience. Now, when you, when you got back from Italy, when you got out of college, uh, how, what, what were the stream of jobs that you had and before you ended up in stand-up comedy? Well, I mean, my jobs were before I went to college. Oh, high school. I did like... I worked in a plumbing store. I, I told them I put together a um, sprinkler system so they go, oh, you go work in plumbing. So these people would come in every day with these parts and hand me these parts and be like, what's this? Well, I need a new one of these or what's this thing for? Or whatever. So I always had my thing. I didn't know anything ever. But I would just do my thing. I would take the thing and I'd go, I'd hold it up. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. Let me get someone else. It's a little bit more experienced about this part. Either that, that was you it. You could have done the Latin guy. Just make it. <laughs> that's good. That was good. That's great. So young. And then uh, you got on Saturday Night Live, and uh, uh, and the lady, the the drunk lady that you, the woman that you did at the end, is one that I know a lot of people remember you from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Was there another character that it kind of follows along with that? That. No, not really. Okay. You That's only the need one. one. You only need one. I mean, I did a one. I did a rapping baby called Baby K. You know, where I'd be like, but I would do it, but it's just, okay. Uh, let's say, um, uh, it gets so dirty, though, but but it was on TV. I mean, you guys are going to be all right. Um, let's see. It goes, um, um, oh, how did it even go? I really don't even remember, actually. I don't remember. Okay. If it comes to you just in a flash, you can jump into it anyway. But it was like, I'm, I'm, I'm a baby. I can rap like a baby. <laughs> That's the voice. Can we move on? Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Uh, uh, at this point, are, are, there, are there any questions from the audience? Uh, anything, anything at all? Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Nothing? Just confused? That's it? They're just talking amongst themselves? Still upset about the bush thing? Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh you you. What's that? Well, you do realize, you do realize it's a standard it's a standard uh, almost stock joke in the in the in the entire world that world that that uh, George Bush Jr. wasn't the brightest bulb in the in the White House. Over Obama. Okay. That's just between us. Okay, did, but did you have a question? Oh, how old are you now? 38. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> she said your life's not over. 38. You got, some, you, got, you got something ahead of you. That's nice to know. 20 years from now, bingo, look at me. You can have your own webcast. How do you stay in shape? What do you do to stay in shape? I work out. Weights? Yes. I, I lift weights. I, I don't lift anything heavy. It's a good roll. I do not lift anything heavy. I used to lift heavy shit, 
And I'm going to tell you what I found was, I, I started lifting heavy stuff when I was about 18. And I lifted heavy stuff until I was about 40. And then I found at 40, when you lift heavy shit, your body doesn't allow you to lift heavy shit anymore. <laughs> you think it does, but it doesn't. You know, and you'll keep trying to, and then your body will keep going, you can't do this anymore. You know what I mean? And then you start lifting light stuff. And then you start lifting real light stuff and doing push-ups and stuff like that. And you try to, you try to you watch Dr. Oz and do whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> whatever Dr. Oz says, you treat it like you just God, he is God. He's, he is. He's Christ incarnate. We all know that. <laughs> and he's Jewish. So there, bingo. Uh, he's, you watch Oz, you do whatever he says, you, you do some type of workout every day, balance it back and forth, and then when you hit 55, you take a big shot of testosterone once a week. Oh, you do? Yes. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I started it last year. A little, I'm jacked up on the T. <laughs> I'll tell you how that happened. You want to know how it happened? My doctor, my doctor is uh, 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 Dr. Dan Watts. He's the only an board certified anti-aging doctor anywhere around. And, and so, and he used to be a gynecologist. So I, I went up to him and my doctor retired. He used to be your gynecologist. He used to be a gynecologist. Not your gynecologist. He is now. <laughs> he is now. He's a, he was a gynecologist and a surgeon. So I went up to him. I went up to He goes to my church. And so I, I went up to him. My doctor was retiring. And, and I go up to Dan and I go, we were buddies. I knew Dan. I said, hey, Don, my guy's, I said, can you be my doctor? He goes, yeah, but it makes you a pussy. And uh, I said, well, I've always been a pussy. Uh, so that fit. We were a fit right off the bat. And uh, so, so he's, ten, he's almost 10 years older than me, and he's fit. I mean, he's in great, he's in great shape. And, and, uh, and it was like, so he's look. I get this blood work done. He's looking at my blood work. And my cousin, who is also a doctor, we grew up together, he looked at my blood work. And I go, hey, how's everything? He goes, perfect. Dan looks at it and he goes, testosterone's really low. I said, Bill told me it was perfect. He goes, yeah, it is perfect for a 57-year-old man. But we don't want you at 57. I said, I'm 57. He goes, no, 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 no. I, he goes, I said, well, what's my testosterone? He says, like 300 and something. I said, what's your testosterone? He goes, I like to keep mine at 1,000. <laughs> I said, that's the end of this discussion. I can't, I can't see your ass every Sunday walking down the damn aisle in church like damn cock of the walk. Big, just knowing you got a thousand coursing through your body. I'm sitting over here with my piddly ass 300. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn alpha male walking through there. I said, jack my ass up. <laughs> and I was hoping I'd get a little cream. Just a little cream, you know? That's what you read about. You see all these things like a little kid. Ooh, you just put a little cream on right there. He goes, no, the needle, man. Needling the damage done. You got to go with a little Neil Young. Do you find that affects your personality? I mean, I'm you seem aggressive right now. I am aggressive. <laughs> I am aggressive. I'm aggressive. I'm, I'm passive aggressive. I'm, I'm aggressively pa aggressive. I'm a, passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. I'm, aggress I'm aggressively passive aggressive. Right. More, I'm more aggressive than passive in a passive aggressive way. Is what people tell me. At least that's what my wife tells me. You know, I never used to slap my wife before sex, but now it just makes everything so much better. Pow! And then, get it on, bang a gong, get it on. You do this. It's a, you know, that's a sure. that's testosterone that makes you do sure that. Sure it does. It's that. Plus, it's, you know, it's the same move you made when you're, when you're, when you're, a, hair, when you're a junkie. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're all... Well, you are a junkie. I'm on the needle. You're a junkie now. You see what this thing is? A wrap. A wrap. Yeah, you, you know. do got marks on you there. You see them. Is that from a, a cat or a... I don't know what the fuck that is. You know what it is. I do know what that is. You know exactly what that is. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I do. Look at you. So, and I know that you've, uh, you've, uh, you're cleaning your life up. You, you've stopped. You're, you're, you're not drinking. You're not smoking. You're, you're ready to go. You're ready to get ripped. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Well, you were kind I'm of dabbling in fast you're, walking. You were in, <laughs> you're dabbling in fast walking? Like, I'll go fast for a little while and then I kind of take right, it easy. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll well I always wonder how long can I dance like I dance up here, you know? Have you ever seen how long you can? No, I mean, how long like, will I be able to do it? 
as my, I, there'd be a point where it's like, I can't dance anymore. <laughs> anyway, that's my problem. No, I, no, I can answer that for you. I can answer that for you. Uh, I can fast forward your life. You know, you're 38 now. You got up here, you danced for what? Three, four minutes? Then you walked up and you started talking? Uh, maybe 30 seconds. Or you can't talk. You just, <laughs> 30 seconds of dancing? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. But I'll be sex. able to dance like that? What? But you'll be able to dance like yeah. that, but then you can't talk afterwards. You'll have to have a recording. <laughs> you have to have some. A that would be funny. Yeah, it just comes on. And then you catch your goes, breath. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Yeah, and you just stand there and look I'm at I'm now it. trying to recover from the dance. I'll that's be right. right with you. Now that I think about that, that's the way I could be an impressionist with That'd recordings. Just move your lips. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, at least we got that worked out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, actually, this ended five minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know if y'all realize that it actually, we were done. We were done five minutes ago. And now it's become uh, fitness and health. <laughs> and nu nano neuro something. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope to God you're sleeping with him. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, we're done. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff.